There's a little verse in Exodus 24 that has always tickled my fancy. It says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and be there. <laughs> and it stresses this idea that I think is very uncommon in our world today, that wherever you are, be all there. I sometimes work in these little country schools, and I see a lot of the teachers, and they're teaching with one foot in the air. They're not really committed to that school or that community or those students. They're looking around wondering, you know, if there's some better opportunity somewhere else. And ASAP, they're out of there. And so many people today, it's very common in this younger generation, they won't even tell you where they live. You say, where do you live? Their answer is, well, right now I'm in such and such a place. But they won't even say that that's where they live. Now, this was very common among the rich. So rich people don't have homes. They have a place in Palm Springs and they have a place in New York and maybe a place over on uh, the Spanish coast or something, but they don't have a home. They don't land anywhere. And if we're going to see the work of God progress, we have to be there. I'll tell you a little story on myself. Uh, I come from a long line of Scotsmen. And I don't say that they're stingy, but they are very frugal. We had a, a little cottage, and in our bedroom, the heat registers were in the floor, not in the walls. And so um, normally what you do if you have wall-to-wall -wall carpet, it was a, a wood floor, but we had bought a piece of carpet. We couldn't afford wall-to-wall. -wall. We had bought a remnant and the remnant didn't go all the way to the walls, but it did go far enough to cover the heat registers. So in the winter time, I would roll back that little piece of rug, the carpet, so that the heat could come out. I wasn't prepared to take my X-Acto knife and cut a hole in that remnant so that it would lie down. Because my intention was someday soon, we're gonna move. This is, yeah, for now, but we want a little bigger house. We were having babies and we needed a bigger house. And I wanted to take that remnant with me. And I didn't want to chop a hole in it. And so we were there for years with the carpet rolled back. <laughs> and one day I thought to myself, this is ridiculous. And you know, the next home we moved to, it already had wall-to-wall -wall carpet. I didn't need that remnant. But how often we live life rolled back and we're not prepared to make the commitment. And, you know, there are some ministries, people will say, I, I'm happy to do something for a weekend. But like those old Sunday school teachers that served the Lord for 40 years teaching Sunday school, not for me. I don't want to like tie down because I'm afraid I might miss out on something. And so they're always scanning, always looking for opportunity somewhere else. And this mobility that society takes as normative today is very difficult for the establishment of homes, for the establishment of local churches, for the advancement of the work of God. And so maybe some of us could take a little exhortation from these words. The Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and be there. Wherever you are right now, be all there.